Okay, we are here at the uh, SOSO Europe, the first uh, sourcing conference in Europe, and we have uh, Jakob Savrel with us, uh, and he presented just uh, a minute ago a very interesting, innovative uh, solution for active sourcers. Thank you. Um, yeah, that was quite impressing. There was the <laughs> uh, no compliments, it's reality. Um, Jakob, you are with uh, Text Kernel, and um, you showed us the uh, you called it the black magic uh, in active sourcing, and you're outpacing uh, the boolean searches uh, by far any problem without any problems. Uh, could you just dig in a little bit into what you're doing and what it's why it's better for active sources what you're doing than others do? Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, so I think. Um, when you're talking about sourcing, the search quality is really important, right? Sure. Sourcing starts with searching. Yeah. So if you don't, if you're not able to come up with a list of qualified uh, uh, people mm -hmm. uh, that have the right combination of things, um, you, you you don't even get started. So um, if you're looking at our current weapon of choice as, uh, as sourcers, it's mainly uh, Google and and Boolean queries. Right? Uh, for the ones in the UK, US, and Netherlands, um, for others like in Germany where you operate yeah, as well, it's uh, even just Xing or LinkedIn. But exactly. we, we can use Boolean yeah. searches within uh, Xing or LinkedIn e as exactly. well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So so people have learned to make very complex Boolean searches to express uh, express the, uh, the variety of things that you can do in natural language. Mm -hmm. Because if you're looking, for example, for a developer, you know that they might also be uh, uh, writing on their profile or on their CV mm -hmm. uh, programmer or engineer or code monkey or a coder and you want to catch all those you want to you want to be able to find all of those yeah you showed us and a very long boolean search stuff from other people exactly. uh, like a, a, a one page uh, one page uh, uh, boolean searches which is very complex no, and uh, then you're just adding things to it and mm -hmm. with all the writing variants for example in Germany you mm -hmm. have all the the complex words and mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, or Turkey, the the whole sentence words. In, in Chinese, they don't put spaces between mm -hmm. the characters, so you have very specific uh, problems per per language. But in any case, if you want to do a complex, uh, conceptually complex search, and mm -hmm. any job is 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 a is a multi-criterion search for mm -hmm. you're trying to fulfill a profile, and the perfect candidate does not exist, mm -hmm. and you're trying to express all these concepts, like like a developer or like a good developer or like. Uh, uh, somebody with a scientific background or mm -hmm. somebody who worked at a bank mm -hmm. and you need lots of keywords in a boolean expression to mm -hmm. uh, to uh, to write all that down and the syntax is kind of complex and it gets uh, it gets to be a monster right mm -hmm. so that's why I call it boolean black magic okay and mm -hmm. you're basically trying to uh, pin down the candidate with mm -hmm. your little voodoo pins well, um, yeah, yeah. but you're not always succeeding mm -hmm. and I think the promise of semantic search uh, is to actually be able to do that what we are trying to do with Boolean searches, mm -hmm. like define very complex concepts, but do it in a much more natural way in, mm -hmm. in, in our own language or by using the, the job advertisement as a starting point, mm -hmm. understanding that, understanding the query of the recruiter, mm -hmm. and automatically uh, uh, enriching it with knowledge of previous recruiters, knowledge of words in the market that people use. So, for example, if you search for a sales manager, mm -hmm. you, you're using a a semantic search and you might get 50 to 60 synonyms mm -hmm. uh, that people use on their Xing profiles or their LinkedIn profiles and you want to catch all of that and then start to filter down. So I okay, think this that's kind sounds of like, like, like it's a built-in very experienced recruiter in uh, uh, smart and easy to use recruiting exactly. tool. Exactly, so it? I think a really advanced Boolean expert can always uh, be more precise and, uh, and, and uh, but, but they have to remember all these complex mm -hmm. expressions or store them in, in their notebook and the junior recruiter uh, that doesn't have this knowledge uh, yet and will find the Boolean mm -hmm. uh, expression, especially younger people, uh, quite complex and, mm -hmm. and discouraging mm -hmm. and refrain from sourcing, where it actually should be easy, right? The, the world is open, all the candidates are out there on the web uh, or in uh, closed CV databases. But with um, semantic search, it, you, you just make that knowledge all more accessible to, uh, to let's say, the mainstream recruiter. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned you take something out of a requisition and just enhance it and then come up with candidates? Is that correct? Yeah, so that's, that's a kind of uh, 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 direction where, where uh, text kernel is he heading now to be able to, let's say, take unstructured job advertisements mm -hmm. and in one click be able to produce a shortlist of candidates. Mm -hmm. The shortlist might not be the final word on it. Mm -hmm. You can still adjust the query and add your own knowledge to it, mm -hmm. but it, it gives you a head start in, in formulating a very um, rich query that um, is going to find the best candidates on top. Okay, does it mean that the 
companies should lay off all sources? Uh, or what no, will be the, the future of the sources? Uh, no, I don't think that at all. Well, first of all, sourcing is, is, is starting to catch on. Mm -hmm. uh, so the traditional recruiter is not doing much sourcing yet. Mm -hmm. And I think sourcing is actually a much more effective way if you're able to target the candidates mm -hmm. that are really relevant instead of the broad population out mm -hmm. there, you, you're going to save a lot of money. So I think it makes sense for companies to move to more a sourcing model, mm -hmm. but then to support those sourcers, uh, especially if they're junior, with the right tools, and uh, okay. we hope to be uh, one of those. With the okay, yeah. and you mentioned that there should be, um, or the future of the the, the uh, quality um, in sourcing or recruiting will, will shift to somewhere else, not to search people because that's automated then. Yeah, it, well, it's not automated, but it's supported by good tools. Okay, I, if you if you're if if you're a car mechanic, you'd better have good tools than bad mm -hmm. tools, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there's lots of other things that are um, related to sourcing, like getting information about the culture of the person, mm -hmm. uh, getting in, uh, a feeling, mm -hmm. uh, a human feeling mm -hmm. for um, uh, for the match between the candidate and the company, mm -hmm. uh, and also um, finding, uh, thinking good uh, of, of good ways to approach that candidate. I think these are more the, like the human aspects, the social aspects. Mm -hmm. And the, and the persuasive selling aspects of mm. sourcing and recruiting, and I think those will become really important when sourcing is is going to move into the mainstream. Okay, I'm just thinking of could you say could one say like uh, Boolean searches is, is like improving a bicycle, very good, and you providing them with a car. Uh, I wouldn't use that analogy, but I I would say it's it's a bit it's a bit like um, it's a, it's a bit like when in. in um, in computer programming when everybody was writing machine language. A lot mm -hmm. of great programs were written mm -hmm. in machine language, but we wouldn't have the IT of today if everybody still had to write in machine language. Okay, but that's something with uh, in your background, uh, um, understandable, um, I hope. Uh, well, I guess I guess you could say the same about the cathedrals, <laughs> right? You, we wouldn't have uh, uh, modern cities if everybody uh, had to ch carve their stone by hand. Even okay, that the, is uh, the, the a better Gothic, analogy. Gothic yeah. cathedrals are okay. fantastic uh, pieces mm -hmm. of craftsmanship, right? Okay, no. yeah, that's and, and they hold very long. So no. <laughs> probably longer than a lot of the modern buildings. But okay, the but uh, looks like just speeding up, right? And um, from the um, audience, from the, the reaction of the audience, uh, just from your speech, looks like you have. Uh, Taken active sourcing to a new level, is it? Well, that's certainly what we uh, what we mm -hmm. hope to do. We we, we think that uh, the semantic type of search will move into the mainstream. It is moving into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. uh, you see it also um, at uh, large job boards or mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, social networks uh, being adopted. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think in uh, let's say uh, two to five years from now, uh, having natural language input. And a relevant list of results that's sorted by uh, by the quality will be, be something that every recruiter expects of their system. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.